The Cyclone biofilters were originally designed for and used by many maintenance and custom installation companies. These companies needed an efficient filter that would not require frequent adjustments or maintenance. The Cyclone biofilters were the perfect option. Over the years, these filters have found their way into more and more hobbyists' hands and have become a very popular addition to tanks of all sizes. Cyclones are available in three sizes. They are rated for tanks up to 100 gallons, 200 gallons, and 400 gallons. Each filter incorporates an extremely efficient protein skimmer and a wet-dry style biological filter. With the water passing first through the protein skimmer, the biological section can be made much smaller due to the high amount of oxygen and lowered organic levels. A simple one-step adjustment makes this filter the perfect option for those who do not have time to constantly hassle with their filtration system. A protein skimmer works using the same principles that create the foam you see on the beach or riding the waves onto shore. Small air bubbles that become mixed into the water column will develop a coating of organic and chemical materials that will accumulate as foam. You can appreciate how much organic waste is present in this foam by the way it smells. In a protein skimmer, this material is funneled into a collection cup where it is removed from direct contact with the water of the main tank. By trapping these materials, they will not be able to break down into their basic elements that would eventually promote algae growth and necessitate frequent water changes. A biological filter, such as a wet-dry, is responsible for converting toxic ammonia and nitrite into nitrate, which is then removed through water changes or through biological processes in the tank. This filter is called a wet-dry because the media is always wet, but is also surrounded by air. This creates a moist, high-oxygen environment where aerobic nitrogen processing bacteria can thrive. Installing any sump filter will require some planning. Make sure that your overflow and return pumps will handle the flow rate that is appropriate for your cyclone model. Also check to make sure that you will not need a larger sump area than that provided in your new filter. If an additional sump is necessary, you can purchase one from your dealer. First, remove your new cyclone biofilter from its packaging. Carefully remove the skimmer column and collection cup. Inspect all items for damage and refer to your instructions for a complete list of parts to ensure that nothing is missing. If any of the items are damaged or missing, please contact your dealer immediately. Set the drip plate on top of the rails above the bio bale. Then, place the filter pad above the drip plate. Insert the power head into the skimmer with the air intake elbows pointing up. Now, insert the skimmer column with the attached power head into the filter, making sure that the injection tube located inside the skimmer column is pointing down. If you have the CY294, you will need to do this for each column. Attach the air intake line to the clip located just above the power head. Make sure that the air line stays out of the water at all times. Assemble the bulkhead fitting so that the nut is on the outside of the filter and the washer is on the inside. If you will be using an external pump, remove the plug at this time. If you will be using a submersible pump, you will need to glue the white plug in place. If you have purchased a sump, you will now need to connect it. All CPR sumps connect with a single one and a half inch bulkhead. You should have three washers with one on the inside of both the filter and sump and with one in between the two sections. Make sure that the units are at the same level and that they are flat on the bottom of your stand. Insert the bulkhead with one washer from the inside of the CY-294. Place the second washer on the bulkhead between the CY-294 and the sump. Place the third and final washer on the bulkhead inside of the sump. Tighten the bulkhead nut until it is secured. Cut. If you are unable to tighten the bulkhead due to space constraints or if the bulkhead leaks, you can use one bulkhead on each section with a piece of one and a half inch PVC between the two. Attach and plumb your return lines and drain lines from the overflow of your aquarium. Make sure that all lines are as straight as possible. Next, 
remove the drain line from the skimmer cup and attach it to the fitting located at the base of the collection cup. This line should be run into a waste container to reduce the frequency of emptying the collection cup. Clean the collection cups in hot water before using. Now, place the collection cup in the skimmer column. Insert the air intakes into the clamps near the top of the CY unit. Fill the filter from the skimmer side until the water flows into the biological area and is covering about one half of the biobail material. You should now be able to start your system. Make sure to follow the directions for your return pump and for your overflow system. Once the water is flowing, you will need to adjust the level in the filter. Add or remove water so that no more than one third of the biobail is submerged. Now, plug in your skimmer power head and set the adjustable gate so that the water level is approximately one inch above the base of the funnel for the CY194 and CY294, or one half of an inch for the CY192. Congratulations, your new filter is now operational. Now that your Cyclone Biofilter has been successfully installed, let's take some time to discuss the required maintenance of this system. The collection cup should be emptied once a week or as necessary. Each time you empty the collection cup, you should also wash it with hot water to remove any organic buildup from the throat of the cup. The quality of foam in the collection cup can be changed by moving the adjustable dam. The base of the collection funnel should be submerged as indicated in your instructions for optimal performance. But the gate can be adjusted up from this point if the foam is too dry or little to no liquid is present, or the gate can be adjusted down if the foam is too wet or very clear. Ideally, the liquid in the collection cup will have the appearance of a dark tea. The filter pad should be rinsed once a week and replaced monthly for optimal performance. The biobail should be cleaned at least once every three months. Remove the biobail filter media and place it in a bucket of salt water. Swish the biobail around in the water to remove any algae or detritus. Shake off any excess water before returning it back to the biochamber of the cyclone. Never use detergents of any kind on the biobail and do not allow it to dry out. Clean all power heads at least once a month. For procedures on cleaning the power head, refer to your instructions. Replace the impeller assembly once a year for the most efficient operation. Please visit our website at www cpraquatic.com for troubleshooting information and our technical support bulletin board. We hope that you enjoy using your new Cyclone Biofilter and any other CPR equipment that you may own.